we are now on the road to 200 subscribers so be sure to subscribe and leave a like because i make nba content just like this every single day so there there's your reason right there all right what is going on everybody welcome back to another video and this is an adam video by the way the first two episodes they're pretty damn pretty, pretty damn good in my opinion they're pretty good but yesterday's kind of did nothing it was very bad very very bad i don't think it has as i'm recording this it has literally no views i believe it's it's doing very bad so if you guys don't like the madden series let me know and i'll just stop it i will literally stop it but we're going to be talking about nba live 20 right now and the fact that it got delayed it got delayed a couple days ago um operation sports is the first you know website to break it but we're on polygon because I couldn't find Operation Sports' um, article. So we're on Polygon. And I watched Agent Zero's video about NBA Live 20 being delayed. And he was, he was spitting facts. He was about NBA Live. So if you didn't know, NBA Live 19, a couple weeks ago, I did an update. And they updated the rosters after free agency. Now that got a lot of, a lot of fans nervous and now surprised. Because they think, oh, that's the end of NBA Live. NBA Live 20 isn't happening. I was one of the people saying, yeah, it's it's gonna happen. There are already signs. YouTubers got invited to an event a while ago that we don't know the event, but they did get invited to an NBA Live event. I know King Sean was one of them that got invited. So there was an event for NBA Live, but apparently they didn't say it's canceled, but it is going to be delayed, which we did see this with NBA Live 17, which wasn't a game. After NBA Live 16, they said NBA Live 17 was gonna be delayed and it never happened. NBA Live 17 never happened. So I'm fine with live taking a couple months. It's only like three months. If it's, they said till late 2019. I highly doubt it will be released in 2019. I don't think it's going to be released this year. I'm being brutally honest. I don't think that it, it's already too late into the year. There's only a couple more months left in 2019. I don't think four months is going to make a huge difference. Because they said they want to take a different approach with NBA Live 20. So how much how much can you change or do in a couple months? You can't really do much. So I think NBA Live 28 is going to be pushed to NBA Live probably 21. I don't know. I don't know everything. I don't work for EA. But I have a feeling it's going to be like the NBA Live 16 to 17 where the game just doesn't happen. Then they go to NBA Live 18, which did change a lot compared to 16. It changed a lot, but obviously wasn't a good game whatsoever. But NBA Live 19 wasn't bad but it wasn't good it was like in the decent area it wasn't awful but it wasn't good either so i don't really know what else they could do agent pointed out in his video like may, probably make a new engine engine dedicated to nba live or just release nba live for free basically release a game just called nba live update it constantly and just do that. Go ahead. Because NBA Live is one of the only sports games I know right now that literally has like no microtransactions whatsoever. Only Ultimate Team has microtransactions. And you don't even need to pay to have a good team in Ultimate Team. You don't. If you just play the game, you'll have a very, very good team. So, in my opinion, that game really has no microtransactions whatsoever. So, if you make the game free, add microtransactions, whatever you want. Then, you know, the game's going to get a lot, a lot more, you know, downloads, sales than releasing a $60 game that's not very good and not polished or finished. Bas basically, that's what they're doing right now. Or release the game for like $20. Because <laughs> it's not worth $60. It's definitely not worth $60. When you have to make your game $4 a couple months after release, that's how you know there's an issue. You know there's an issue there. But... We already know NBA Live 20. It apparently is still coming out. All right, it's still coming out. It's still gonna happen. I don't think it will, but there's still hope. Apparently, the soundtrack was already made, so I was leaked by an EA account. But um, usually, Live comes out around 2K20, which is coming out September 6th, the Legendary Edition. That's when Live comes out. But I, I guess that ain't happening now, which. I like that Live is not going to be coming out the same time as 2K. They, sh they should have thought about that years ago. I don't know why they released a game on literally the same exact day as your biggest competitor. The, the company that's blowing you out of the water. Don't do that. Release it earlier 
or release it later. Release it at the time where 2K is basically, like, dead. No one wants to play it. Release it then. Whether that be around this time, maybe late August, um, you know, or maybe around February, January, when people are sick and tired of the game at that point. So that, that's just my opinion, you know. People, EA fanboys, will crap on me for that. But basically, there's not much to this except saying that 20 is going to be delayed. Uh, you know, live, apparently the devs are having issues right now. They don't. They want to go in a different direction. They haven't said anything publicly about Live 20 except that it's going to be delayed. But it has not been at EA Play. It has been a no type of, you know, EA um, thing. They, I don't know why, but... They were hinting at using the Frostbite engine at one point, but leaks came out that the Frostbite engine is actually awful, and it takes forever to like make a, a good quality game on it. So I, I don't know. I don't know what EA is doing at this point. I honestly don't know what EA is doing. I think they need to hold off, put as much time, as much effort, as much money as possible in making a good game, period. Whether it comes out next year or the year after, make a good game game it's that simple nba live is too far behind 2k to be releasing games 60 dollars games for not a complete game because 2k is a hundred dollars for not a complete game but it's just so much better than live that people are going to pay for it it's just that simple so i that's basically kind of a rant my thoughts on nba live 20 being delayed so that's gonna be for me you like if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new let me know if you still hate the Madden content, because there will be a video coming out, maybe two, I just want to know, I just want to know, because the first couple of videos did very good, but then the one I just released did awful, literally one of the worst videos I've made, I mean, I've released in a couple months, so that's going to be for me, GG.